Hello everyone, I'm Katie and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to find your art style. To do this, I'll be splitting the video into four parts. So firstly, we'll go through what the term art style means to this video. And secondly, we'll go through some of the things that you can do. Third, I'll go into very specific exercises that you could draw with your hands. Uh, not with your hands. Lastly, I'll go through some of the mindset habits that you might want to take. Overall, this should be fun. Let's go. Okay, when you clicked onto this video, what did you think that art style meant to you? I feel like the meaning can differ greatly depending on who you're talking to. And today I'm going to be sharing with you my interpretation of what it means to find a style. So firstly, defining style. I think there is an infinite number of styles and if I grossly simplify, style can be spread across a large spectrum from realism to super stylized. And realism, in realism you get the photorealistic drawings and super stylized you get abstract. I feel like people get confused between style and skill because I know I did now, I feel like it's a completely different category. Because first, because first of all, the thing that discriminates between them is that style is a personal choice while skill is like your ability stats. Um, yeah, so there's no style that's inferior or, or superior to another and each person can draw in many many different types of styles. So placing different styles in an order of hierarchy is like saying that cake is better than ice cream. They're all just people's opinions. Yeah, there can be, there can also be really bad tasting ice cream and really good tasting ice cream. So they're both ice cream, but one tastes better than the other one. And that, but that too is just an opinion. So someone could have taken the worst ice cream in the world while tasting the best cake in the world. So that person would clearly say that cake is better than ice cream, while another person could just hate cake, so they would automatically pick ice cream. Okay, wait, let's stop talking about food. Anyways, your style is essentially a combination of your personal tastes with the media you consume. That's what I think style is. And, and when you're trying to make your own style, Remember that nothing is completely original because we're always getting information from the world around us. Hence, to find your style, it's good to experiment, to look at lots of different artists and different things in the world, and then you'll be able to choose and refine your choices. Okay, so the big question, how to find your style, is to align your personal tastes with what you create, you want to consume more things in order to formulate a bigger picture to know more about yourself and what you like. Okay, so now I'm going to be going into exercises you can do. I'm ordering it from the most procrastination vibes to the least procrastination vibes. And with number one, we have watching an animation. While you're watching the animation, maybe this won't be the first time that you watched animation, but the next few times, so you know you like it already, and you know that you want to try to learn the style of it. So when you're watching, you just pause and draw, wherever you like. So play, draw, pause, play, draw, pause. That sounds really fun, I might do that after. And next is drawing from your comic, manga, graphic novel. So while you're reading, put little bookmarkers in the panels that you really like so you can come back to it and binge draw later. And thirdly is to take screenshots of the panels that you like while you are reading and create a folder that serves as an inspiration and mood board. So whenever you have five minutes, you can whip out this folder and start copying the drawings that you like. And for all of these exercises, you can do this dig digitally or with a pen, anything you can get your hands on. 
just make sure you don't erase too much. The key is to draw it as accurately as you can on the first line and then move on. Not to say that you must draw this really slowly, but do pay attention to the lines that you're drawing because you want to remember the lines in your muscle memory. You don't want to keep doing lines because it will kind of distract your memory. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, so don't keep going over your lines like scratching little short lines. Try to go for some big long lines and get it as accurately as you can on the first go. We want quality and quantity. Make sure each line is impeccable. And now I'll be going through some of the things that you want to focus on while doing these exercises. So when you are drawing some big panels, take note especially of their facial expressions. Notice how the expression is stylized from real faces. What did, the, what did the artist do to a real face to get this art style and this expression? Mm. Yeah, so as an example, yeah, as an example, banana fish here that I'm drawing, they have pretty realistic eyes. Like, they're, I mean, like, they're like, they're just a bit, I think the size is similar to real life. And they tend to have sharp but not sharp chins and a big forehead. If you'd like, you can work out some ratios, but don't go too deep into the math. Never use a ruler, like approximately with your eyeball. Eyeball it. Yeah. And then next, notice the facial proportions. These don't come by accident. The artist did everything on purpose and find the golden ratio on what you like to use for your faces. So some people like to put the eyes further apart and some people like to give bigger foreheads like one piece and hmm, yeah. And then next notice line quality and try to replicate it. Try to replicate as many different ones as you can to build a library in your mind. Notice what sorts of emotions the character is facing and what sorts of line quality the character the artist uses on to describe that in those panels. One example I can think of from the top of my head is in Goodnight Pum Pum. Pum Pum's outlines are very very crisp and sharp however when you see that he's distressed the lines get a lot messier which shows his mental what he's going through at that time so the lines are giving additional information about his distress and another example i thought of was blood on the tracks a minor spoiler warning in the middle of the series something happens and the main character I feel like this type of line quality is like very it's describing a mental state that he was in he it felt like he was dissociated from this world there was black lines kind of textured lines around him but everything in else in the world is quite blurry and the lines are very loose so I feel like he's very obsessed with something at that moment and the background shows that the world is not so stable as it actually is physically than in his mind. People say the answer to finding your art style is not to purposely look for an art style. And that is true in my humble opinion. So now we know what to do while we are not purposely looking for an art style. By doing these things that I listed and shared with you today, you'll be able to gradually get a wider scope of the world and find more things that you like 
and find more things that you want to replicate and want to be inspired by. We're not looking within ourselves to search for that innate art style that we were born with and that is special to us. We are taking, st- we are taking steps to understand more about ourselves, view the world more widely and engage in more things in the world to get a wider scope and experience more art. It's like drinking bubble tea. If you try every brand of bubble tea in the city, then eventually you'll be able, you'll be able to taste the difference between different stores of bubble tea then eventually you'll know which one or two stores is your favorite and then you'll stop drinking all the other ones so if you experiment and expose yourself to a variety of things that other people create the same goes for the term art style and hello thanks for watching all the way to the end everyone i hope you have a good week and i'll see you next time Also keep drawing and like, comment and subscribe.